Hello, it is Tuesday, March 5th, 2024. I'm Chris Remo and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Tuesday crossword, which means today we're going to be solving another early week, relatively approachable themed puzzle. Uh, but first, I would like to pass on my best wishes to Will Shorts, the long-serving editor of the New York Times crossword, who we credit each day in these videos. He's apparently recovering from a stroke that he suffered in early February. Um, thanks to those in the comments and the Daily Solve Discord chat server for um, mentioning this, discussing this, and bringing it to my attention. I, I had missed that. He apparently posted a message about it the other day. He seems to be recovering well. So hopefully he's back to full strength editing puzzles uh, very soon. But in the meantime, I do wish him all the best. And I'm sure all the viewers of this channel do as well. Um, so get well soon, Will Shorts. And um, today we're going to be solving one of the puzzles he had uh, he's edited. These puzzles, by the way, apparently are uh, edited and prepared months in advance, generally speaking, because the queue to, uh, to submit puzzles to the New York Times is so long. I mean, in part because of the reputation of the New York Times crossword as established by Will Shorts over the 30, uh, more than 30 years that he's been, uh, that he's been editing it. Uh, in any case, um, this uh, edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by, uh, let's see who, it's been Overfull Hitbox, Quotidia File, Kathleen Quinn, and as always, the indomitable Shoalmaster, who brought us this week, this uh, day's puzzle. And um, those four are benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign. Thank you so much to them. Thanks to everybody who, support, who supports the channel. I really do appreciate it. And uh, it keeps this whole thing going. You can find more details about that at patreon.com slash daily solve or via the description field link. Um, there's also the Daily Solve Discord chat server that I mentioned um, earlier, and there's a description field link to that as well. Thanks to everybody who um, supports the channel or has signed up for that or who has subscribed on YouTube. And now let's get on to today's solve itself. This is a construction by Christina Iverson who has constructed, a few, I think, a couple of dozen puzzles for the New York Times. It was edited, of course, as always, by Will Shorts, to whom we wish all the best. And let's start solving. All right, tea with tapioca pearls is uh, boba. Oops, it's a milk, boba milk tea um, with uh, tapioca, spherical tapioca chunks. Okay, cattle catching weapon is what is a cattle catching weapon? Do I know what this is? Do I think I know what this is? I'm not sure. What about this? A strong smell is an odor. Eagerly awaited occasion is a big night, maybe? No. Big event? I don't know if it's big, but let's try it and see. Anthony Hopkins' role in Thor. Um, Odin, the god uh, the god Odin of the of Norse mythology, but also in this case a Marvel character. Okay, cattle catching. Oh, a, a bola? Is that like the, um, that's the, um, you know, you sort of swing it and, and toss it and it's weighted. Uh, and then you can, it's, you know, it's weighted to make it easier to kind of, um, you know, direct, direct its, its uh, trajectory. I think that, I think that'll be the answer. And then inventor David Aguilar built a fully functional prosthetic one from Legos. Must have been a fully functional prosthetic arm. That's extraordinary. That's quite a fascinating achievement. Okay, so the eagerly awaited occasion does look like big something. It's a big moment. Big moment. That's what it is. There we go. And so this is a flaw in an argument, a logical fallacy maybe. That does fit. And uh, that looks to be our first thematic answer of the puzzle. We can see that it's uh, it's being highlighted, well, that it is itself highlighting uh, our revealer most likely down there, but we'll get there later. Well, actually, you know what? I did used to occasionally look at the revealers first and see if I could infer things about the theme. I haven't done that very often recently, so let's do it now. Spring-loaded office device or a collective hint to 1626, 34, and 41 across. A hole punch, a stapler, a uh, maybe three hole punch. Just trying to think of something that would actually fill the, that does, that does fit. Um, 
What would that have to do with anything? Spring loaded off his device or a collective, a collective hint. Collective hint. Interesting. So a hint for all of these collectively. I'm not really sure what I think that's getting at. Um, there are also four, there are four answers. It might not be three hole punch, to be honest. Uh, I guess I could try and check a couple of them just to see. Kind of port seen at airport kiosks, USB port, maybe to charge your phone. Okay, that 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 alone makes me think this is probably right. Final four organization, yes, this is the NCAA, the um, the organization that regulates collegiate sport. So this is the um, final four basketball tournament. No blank traffic, no through traffic. You might see this on um, on a. Um, a street that that, that that ends, and so you, you, you can't pass through it. Um, I've always wondered why it's THRU. I wonder if that's just because I want... So it is the case, I mean, these days, um, we live in extremely highly literate uh, societies. Most people can, can read, an overwhelmingly high percentage of people can read and write, but that wasn't true. Um, th- that wasn't true 100 years ago. I wonder if certain things like this developed maybe just to make it less ambiguous. I don't know. I have no idea if that's true, but there are certainly things, there are some sort of conventions in society that developed in a time when fewer people were literate. That's probably not actually the case that that's where, that's why this is spelled this way in signage. I don't know. Maybe it's just to make it incredibly clear what it means, but I've never really thought about it before. (laughs) Anyway, sign of past stitches, perhaps. A scar. Fellow bringing a dozen roses, maybe. It could be a beau, you're, um, someone with whom you're romantically involved. And where to swing your partner round and round. A dance. A line dance, maybe, would fit in four letters. Do you swing people around in a line dance, maybe? Let's try it and see. Fr- no, it isn't that. Okay. Uh, French friend is an ami. That's, that's the word for friend in French. So what is this? Barn barn dance? Swing your partner round and round. I think there's a, that's, a, that's a sort of rhyme or a song or something that is associated with barn dances, maybe. Bad way to run. To run amok would be, you know, running wild, uh, that kind of thing. To equip for sailing, so to rig, to rig up a ship or a boat would be to equip it for sailing. And then Toad's Kid Lit Pal. So Frog and Toad are two um, two characters in an extremely gentle series of children's literature. Silver Blank, Tree of the Alps. Silver Fir, that's a tree. And Trophy or Metal is an award. I guess I'm just solving the bottom of the crossword now. <laughs> it's where I ended up, so I'm doing it. Scratchy voice quality would be a rasp. Oh, and this will be one of the theme clues. Maybe I can solve this and figure out something about the theme. Uh, many a beverage ending in aid. A fruit drink, like limeade or lemonade. Logical fallacy, fruit drink, three hole punch. What am I missing about this? I don't understand it at all. I'm sorry. I just don't see it. Okay, dorky, if you're dorky, maybe you're dweeby, you're a bit of a dork, a bit of a dweeb. And Swift to fill a concert, all uh, Taylor Swift. So you read this and you think, ah, uh, Swift to fill, so a concert hall is filling quickly, but no, it's referring to the person, Taylor Swift, who would certainly fill a concert hall quickly for that matter. Marbled loaves, uh, rye, sometimes you could have a, a marbled rye. Not all rye bread is marbled, but some of it is. Uh, you know, meaning it has that sort of swirly patterns with the the mixture, the, the way that the dough has been sort of mixed with contrasting color elements. Prefix meaning automated. Uh, robo, so a, a robo call would be an automated calling mechanism, for instance, or software, most likely. Uh, meat skewer could be a kebab. Well, I usually see kebab spelled K-E-B-A-B. That is universally how I see it spelled, at least here in the UK. I wonder if there are different different conventions around how it's transliterated into uh, into English. Maybe K-A-B-O-B? 
Boy, that looks strange to me, but it, it looks slightly more plausible than K-E-B-O-B -B for some reason. I could imagine... Yeah, I don't know. Let's look at this and see. Theatrical. Yeah, okay. I should have just looked at this immediately. A theatrical sort is a ham, someone who's who's hamming it up, overacting, maybe over emoting. And then Georgia School said to be one of the Southern Ivies, Emory University, I guess. I'm not familiar with the Southern Ivies, but but Emory is a university, so could be this. And then to barely manage without would be to eke out uh, a living, for instance. You got a living, barely manage a living. Oh wait. Oh, I see. 58 across is, uh, right. It says, cry that's a homophone and anagram of 55 down. Eek. It's just, oh, I see. It's just, right. It's it's a, it's an anagram because it re uh, reorganizes the letters from the other word, and it's a homophone because it is pronounced in the same manner. So there we go. Don't let those people escape. Get them, you might say. Catch-all survey option. Other is a catch-all for anything else that isn't specifically enumerated in the in the question responses given. Birds that sing extravagant melodies are larks, perhaps? Let's look at this and check it. Simon and Garfunkel's Mrs. Robinson, that's the song, Mrs. Robinson by Simon, Simon and Garfunkel. Um, there we go. And abbreviation at the end of a list of authors is et al. So you might list you know, two authors initially and then at all, and that indicates the rest. You see that mainly in research papers and things like that. To use TurboTax EG might be to e-file your taxes, to electronically file your taxes, and e-file is the name that the U.S., uh, that the Internal Revenue Service uses for that function. Um, to lose rigidity would be to go limp. Um, there we go. We have eggplant, blank, Italian dish, familiarly, parm, so eggplant parm or parmigiana, actually parmigiana itself is, is an eggplant dish. Um, we often, I think, think of it as being chicken, but in actual fact, it is an eggplant dish and it's, it's very good. And the chicken parmigiana is sort of a, an adaptation. Um, it's not, not, a, not really a traditional dish in the same ways as parmigiana or eggplant parmesan. Anyway, uh, it's my turn. I'm up. There, but for the grace of God, go I, goes the phrase. And I love you in Spanish. Um, why can I not think of what this is? I love you in Spanish. Te, I think of te, oh, te amo, I guess, because I guess I. it's similar in Italian, but in Italian, you don't need to use the personal pronoun. You just conjugate the verb and you can leave the pronoun out. And it's, it's, it's just implied. But in Spanish, you would need it. So I guess it would be yo, yo te amo for I. That must be right. Sorry, it's embarrassing that I don't know more Spanish just off the top of my head. Uh, comedian Sedaris. Amy, Amy Sedaris is a comedian. AOL competitor MSN is a traditional competitor of... of AOL, uh, MSN and AOL were, were, I don't know, maybe are in some places? I don't think so. But anyway, internet service provider competitors. But now I think they're both just sort of general websites. I don't really know why, if people still go to them. Anyway, standard oil offshoot, Esso. So uh, SO, the brand name is simply derived from SO, the, uh, SO, the uh, initials of standard oil, how you might write them out, pronouncing them. So there we go. Void is an empty space, maybe? Empty, it could be so empty something else. It, empty space is the first thing that comes to mind. Let's see. Windows, runners, PCs, personal computers run Windows. Weightlifting item for a biceps routine. Weightlifting item for a biceps routine. I keep thinking crowbar. I don't know why that would be the answer. What about this? Messy living area, pigsty. Um, like a tightrope, ideally. Well, a tightrope should be taut. Um, you wouldn't want it to be too slack. I guess that's another thing, slack lining. Tightrope walking and slack lining, I guess, are two forms of walking across a rope. I could be wrong about that. I think that's the case. Flow ride a hit with the lyric, champagne bucket still got two uh, tears in it. I actually don't know this. 
Uh, walk quietly is tiptoe, presumably. And folded part of a 17 down. We've not seen 17 down, I don't think, anyway. No, we haven't. Cold weather wear. So a coat would be, oops, cold weather wear. Fairly straightforward. And then, oh, a, a part of, folded part of a coat is a lapel. There we go. Oh, curl bar. Weightlifting item for a biceps routine. A curl bar is, okay. So, I mean, that's uh, doing cur bicep curls is a very common exercise. So, um, so there we go. Okay, that's the answer. <laughs> Straightforwardly enough, I suppose, in the end. And then the flow right hit is I cry. There we go. Okay. I suppose that makes sense, given the reference to tears in the lyrics. Okay. Reach the Billboard Hot 100 EG is to chart to, if a song charts, it's said to uh, make it onto such, such a ranking. Uh, chocolate source is cacao. Oops. There we go. Something that editors and clothing designers are concerned with. They're concerned with style. So clothing designers obviously would like to make stylish clothing, and editors are concerned with style uh, in the sense of a style guide, which um, defines um, usage conventions according to the particular publication that the editor um, works for. So here we have the Aral Sea, a body of water between Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan. Great. Something to draw names of, draw names out of a hat. Syringe amounts or cc's, cubic centimeters. To tear to bits is to rip up, maybe? Like the boy or my bee. What? Oh, it's not <laughs> It's not the boy. I was thinking it was a sort of stutter. No, it's not. It's it's bee boy. It's it's a slang term, or my bee. Those are both. These are both slang terms, so you could describe them as slangy. I see. Okay. That, that was a preposterous initial read. Sorry about that. Tear to bits. Oh, it's not rip up, it's shred. There we go. A study in Scarlet Detective, Sherlock Holmes. It's a Sherlock Holmes story. Uh, widespread is, if, you know, certain behavior is widespread, it's rife. A, a notable time period would be an era of history. And director Guillermo del Toro, of The Devil's Backbone, and and uh, and no, I can't think of any of his other films. That's strange. Um, anyway, Guillermo del Toro is the answer. Oh, he did a remake of oh, what was it? He remade a film noir a couple of years ago that I did see, but I have to honestly recommend the original more strongly. Was it Thieves Highway? Don't know. It wasn't Thieves Highway. Oh, that's going to really bother me. That's really annoying. Anyway, okay. Here we have um, August Osage County is a uh, Pulitzer Prize winning play. And place for a wax could be a spa. So you could have a wax done, you know, to remove hair at a spa. And then if you're on the briny, you're a sea. You're at sea. You're literally in the ocean. And... There we go. And that was the Tuesday crossword by Christina Iverson. And uh, what, so what am I, sorry, what am I missing about the three hole punch? Oh, fruit drink is a punch. What else does that mean? Empty space. Oh, empty, sp oh, empty space is created by a, you know, a three hole punch or a punch when you punch holes in papers, it would create an empty space. Three hole punch, pigsty, three logical fallacy. You can punch a hole in an argument. Is that, is that what the implication is there? Sorry, what am I missing? What am I missing here? What am I missing with pigsty? Three hole. I'm really sorry about this. I'm just, I'm just not quite getting this. A collective hint to 1624, 34, and 41 across. What's the three doing in any of these? Oh, I'm really sorry. I'm just not quite, 
understanding what this is. Someone's going to have to fill me in. What am I missing? Oh my goodness. Sorry. I feel so foolish right now, but uh, no. Three whole, okay. This is ridiculous. I have to stop. I have to stop doing this because I'm not coming to any conclusions. How am I not saying what this is? Oh, sorry. Um, Oh, Nightmare Alley. Nightmare Alley is the is the film that Guillermo del Toro remade. Um, but yeah, you should watch the original. At least watch the original before watching his if you can, because it's really great. Um, his was good, but but I really thought the original was was just outstanding. Anyway, um, sorry, that was a, uh, unrelated to really anything important dealing with this theme. I just can't figure it out. I don't know. I don't know what to. I don't know what to make of it. I feel silly for not being able to figure out the pigsty bit. I don't even know that I have the other parts right. I think I do. Fruit drink is a punch. Empty space is a hole or, or a hole has been punched by it. A logical fallacy is a hole in an argument. A pigsty. I don't know. I'm not saying that one. I'm really sorry. Anyway, I'm going to I'm gonna have to end this video, I suppose. Uh, someone will have to just let me know what I'm, what I'm missing in the comments or the discord chat server so thanks in advance for that in any case that was the crossword for tuesday march 5th and um i'll be back tomorrow with the wednesday midweek mid difficulty puzzle once again all the best wishes to will shorts do join me tomorrow for the wednesday puzzle um, until then please do have an excellent remainder of your tuesday take care mm -hmm.